Hello guys, welcome to Logarithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question smallest subtree with all the deepest node. In this question we are given a root of a binary tree and the depth of each node is the shortest distance to the root. We need to return the smallest subtree such that it contains all the deepest nodes in the original tree. Now a node is called the deepest if it has the largest depth possible among any node in the entire tree. The subtree of a node is tree consisting of that node plus the set of all the descendants of that node. Now this question is same as the question lowest common ancestor of deepest sleeves. You can use the same solution in both of the problems. Let's see what the question is about. In the first example, the tree is given to us and as there are only two deepest nodes, seven and four, we return to which contains all the deepest nodes. The subtree of three nodes contain all the deepest nodes. So we return it. Let's understand what needs to be done. Suppose this is a tree given to us and we need to find the subtree with all the deepest nodes. As we can see, the answer is node 12 as it has all the deepest nodes attached with it. As we need to first know the depth of the both of left and right child and take an action on the root node then whether to include it or not in the result, we are sure that the operations are in this particular order which is left, right and then root. This order is nothing but post order. So we need to do a post order traversal in order to find the answer. Height of every node is nothing but the max of the height of left tree and right tree. We will find the height of the left tree and right tree and for its root the height now become max of left and right. If and only if the height of left and right tree are equal that node will be considered otherwise it won't be considered in the answer. The height of node 2 will be 0, 1, 2, 3 that is 3 and same of 32, 3. As both the heights are equal we consider 12 its height becomes 3 while the height of 16 will be 2. The max of it will come to 14 which will be 3 but as the two heights are not equal we are sure that it only contains the deepest node. So we take the node reference into a variable and store that. We will do that and at the end we return the reference that is stored in that variable. Let's see how we can code this. As discussed we need to have a max depth value which will initially be minus 1 as we are starting from 0 the root node is at depth 0 and a reference result which will store the result node for us. We will do a post order on the root node and at the end we just need to simply return the whatever holds in the result. Now we declare our method as we need to have depth at each level we will also take depth in the argument as well initially it will be 0 and if the node is null will simply return depth then we need to do the post order traversal that means first we need to process the left node and then the right node. We are increasing the depth whenever we are calling these methods because at each level the depth will get increased. Now if the left and right values are equal that means these two are the deepest node so far. So we'll update the max depth with the max of itself or the any of the two values. If the max depth got updated this means that we have encountered a new deepest node and we need to take that. So if the max depth is equals to equals to left then we need to update our result with the node. At the end as we discussed we know that the height of the tree is max of left and right. When we run this code we get the right result. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time and space complexity of this algorithm is O of n as we are iterating over all the nodes and also in order to maintain the stack for the recursion it takes O of n space. Thanks for watching the video. See you in the next one.